If you guys been on this channel, you know that I'm a huge fan of Samurai Showdown Reboot on the PS4. However, I actually never got a chance to review Sam Show for you guys anyway. Shout out to the guys at SNK for providing this review copy of the game, and I'm going to get my first impressions and review on the game as well. I'm going to make this quick, simple, and easy and cover points critically that are most important to many fans for this game and for newcomers as well. If you guys are enjoying this video, please consider subscribing for all things fighting games, anime, and RPGs in the future. Now let's get right into it. The Samurai Showdown work on the Epic Games Store. Now, personally, I've had my bad experiences with the Epic Games Store in the past, and to be honest, my expectations are turned around 100%. Like, they literally destroyed them. My last time I tried to use Epic Games was when Fortnite came out. My rig is currently a GTX 950 with 8GB of RAM with Asus Motherboard Extreme Pro. When I first opened the game, the loading screens were kind of long. I closed the game twice and thought it was me, so I will say it could be a me problem on my PC, so please heads up. It was an issue I encountered with a 5 year old rig. After that first 1 to 2 minute wait to load in, everything was just so gorgeous and beautiful. Also, the menu settings worked flawlessly, moving and there was little to no latency. I was actually surprised about the game. Oh, one of the coolest things about Samurai Shot on PC is how accessible it is with any of my controllers and how it worked perfectly with my arcade stick. I currently use a Quan Obsidian and was thinking about what program will I need to make my fight stick compatible with this program. However, Epic Games Store kind of surprised me whereas I never used it on that service and it just worked first try, plug and play to its finest baby. Essentially, after you get the game running for the first time, everything works just as smooth as the PlayStation 4 version. So just to let you guys know, the quality is still there for me, at least from my experience. Next thing, gameplay. Samurai Shonen is a very neutral essence game. For people who may not know what that means, neutral is the phase of the game where both players are free to move, attack, and defend. Your goal in neutral is to assess the situation, determine what you think your opponent wants to do next, and figure out where you need to be and what you need to press to stop them from doing it, and then do that thing to stop them. <laughs> Samurai Shonen does not have air dash like many anime games or another series like Marvel vs. Capcom and the pace of the match is slower than your average fighter. Samurai Shodan excels in making everything you do feel good. That is one of the most important things to me in a fighting game. If I hit this button, does it feel good to land? And if I execute it and I actually land it, how does it look? How does it feel? How does it make me react to it? That is what Samurai Shodan nails to the utmost T. Now the game has high damage, but when you successfully land that counter hit or perfect attack, it starts to get the blood pumping. Also, Samurai Shodown has this cool ass mechanic that I never really talked about, and it's really unique to Samurai Shodown. It's pretty much a lightning blade, where you go into like this burst, and everything in the background goes into like this monotone grayish, or depending like very like dark and like yeah, Samurai type of feeling. And then if you execute it again, you take out hella damage. It feels so good to get that attack if you land it perfectly. You only get to use it once per round, but it's so satisfying just to even pop it off, bro. It's It feels hype. It's like a rush of adrenaline that I love in fighting games. Now, I've never actually said this, but my favorite character in some of my showdown currently is from Season 2 DLC. Aurora has the Beyblade move, but she just spins, and I live for stuff like this, man. Plus... I mean, look at her. She kind of gorgeous, right? My other favorite characters to play with previously would be Yoshitora and Charlotte. I almost had a problem with saying Charlotta right there because Grand Blue PTSD. Every character in Samurai Showdown Reboot, or I'm just going to call it Samurai Showdown 2019, all feel very unique to play. There are no clone characters. Every character in the roster has a unique moveset or kit pertains to them especially. So every character have a different experience when you touch them. However, the tutorial does not offer a chance for you to experiment with concepts they want you to learn. You pass the tutorial and you just go. However, since the game is not necessarily combo heavy, you go through the tutorial multiple times really quick as most concepts and mechanics will stick to you after playing them a couple times. Now, here come the part that you probably like, alright, this is very important. 
Is the Samurai Showdown 2019 or Samurai Showdown Reboot Online Netcode better than any other console iteration? Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, the Samurai Showdown Netcode is one of those games that I still think they are on delay based for uh, Samurai Showdown. So, hear me out. Now, for my experiences, since the game is on Epic Game Store, there's probably less people probably buying games on Epic Game Store than Steam. So the player base may be different. Because of this, you might see less players on Samurai Showdown on PC. However, when I got into some matches in Samurai Showdown, the first match was pretty, pretty flawless. I didn't really have too many complaints about the netcode or the lag. It was playable. However, I don't want it to just be playable. I want it to be dang near them fighter herds level good. That killer instinct level good. That Skullgirls level good. Now, I played a couple matches from various players that I could find on the game, and to be honest with you, there was one match that just dc from the start, because I felt like our connection just didn't work together. However, everybody else that I've played, I would probably give the online netcode a 6.5, 7 out of 10, because even though the game may start up really weird and rocky, the whole match could play out flawlessly, and I don't really ever feel like I ever said, man, lag. I don't ever feel like I ever said that, so that's some of Samurai Showdown that I have to admit. One weird thing about the online netcode in this version of the game, I feel like the game loads faster online compared to like a lot of offline menus and modes. Like literally, you go online, you find a match, it is way faster than starting up the game and getting to like, arcade mode, story mode, like online is like work makes the game work way better for some reason. I don't know if that's just me, but from my first experience, that's generally how I felt after playing at least a good hour or so of matches on Samurai Showdown PC. That's just how I feel. <laughs> All right, story mode. Samurai Showdown story mode captures the essence of the Samurai aesthetic. Reminds me about the Sessio Toyo or the real Machi period. Yeah, I just dropped some knowledge on y'all. Regardless, the thing is that the story mode is not really what it is. There are more so arcade runs with cinematic sprinkle into them. I personally find it misleading when you could have just called it an arcade story, but nevertheless, it's still pretty cool. The way the story mode works is pretty basic. Each character you fight, you get this super cool personalized intro before battle. After three consecutive wins, you get a special cutscene that either relates to the character you picked or the boss villain of that story mode. However, I've done this with Nakaruru first because I've been seeing this character and hearing about this character since my first time at a Chicago arcade a long time ago. And I will say, the prologue and epilogue was done beautifully with its art style. It's very memorable. And however, I feel more connected to the character off of just one arcade run. Also, I will say, the final boss of each arcade run, at least the one I've done, it's pretty cool. I really like how they did that boss, and it was so anime. So, they get the silly Yaya approve if you know this channel. <laughs> Should you buy on Epic Games Store? My final verdict on Samurai Showdown PC is that the game works extremely well. Only problem I have with the PC version of the game is that sometimes load times could be really long for a fighting game. But again, it could be my PC with old hardware and no SSD in it. Samurai Showdown on the Epic Game Store is currently $50 and all the DLC is currently on sale for both Season 1 and 2. The base roster of the game is still good and everyone for the most part feels very balanced and so on. So if you don't have the DLC, don't worry. The game does have plethora of different gameplay modes such as Ghost Battle, Arcade Mode, Story Mode, Time Attack, all the basic fighting game needs. So if there was any worry of that, this game does have it, and a little bit and then some in its own style. My thing about buying this game is, if you're really an online player looking for people to play, this might not be the best place to play it. However, if you can find people to play, just join a Discord, it is pretty worth it. Like, the game runs pretty well, even on old hardware, based on even their minimal specs. So for me, the game can play and run really nice. That being said, I just gave you guys my review and some of my first experiences with Samurai Showdown on PC by Epic Games Store. Again, shout out to the free product from SNK for giving me the review copy for this game. It is your boy Avatar Yaya. You guys are golden, and that is raw. Follow me on Twitter at Avatar Yaya TV. And remember, 
You guys are golden, and Nad is wrong. Squawla!